Hello guys, my name is Anna and welcome to the Blink channel. In the previous video we were talking about virtual pins and now I want to continue this story and show you how you can change Blink widget properties from Uscape. There are several Blink properties that every widget has and you can change them with your code. They are label, color and min and max values. Bear in mind that you can change these properties only in widgets attached to virtual pins. So, let's cut to the chase and see how it works. I will start with changing the color of the simple LED widget. So, firstly, open your project and add an LED widget and let's attach it to the virtual pin V1. And now we can switch to the sketch and add a simple line of code for the magic to happen. So, I've connected my Node MCU to my computer let's check that the proper board is selected here in the tools and the board is selected as well. So now we're ready to edit the default Node MCU sketch in my case. I've opened this uh, article on the docs.blink.cc. Uh, it tells us how to work with widget properties. Uh, and now let's define the color. Uh, I want my LED to be red, so I'm defining the blink red color and its hex code here. As you see, I have added blink connected function. That means that this part of code will be executed every time when blink gets connected to the server. So this line will set up the value for the widget. And now let's change its color. We are ready to upload the sketch to my board. Let's check what happens in the app when I hit on play button now. As you see, LED lights up with the red color. So let's go on and check how we can change the label of this LED. For this, let's add a line that will change label. Blink dot set property v1 again, because we're working with the same LED widget. Uh, here we will add label. The label, I don't know, Anna LED. And let's upload this sketch once again to the board. So as you see, the label was changed. To make it even easier, you can use Blink widget LED class instead of manual set property comments, and you can find the examples in the Blink GitHub project. Also, there are some properties specific to the particular widget. For example, let's add a menu widget to our project in the app and assign it to the virtual pin V2. Now we're ready to edit our sketch to work with the menu widget. Let's add a line that will change the labels property on the v2 virtual pin which is the menu and we will add some options like monday tuesday wednesday to it let's update the sketch on our board and see what happens with the menu widget as you see my monday tuesday and wednesday options showed up in the menu widget for the desert let's take a look how you can change on off labels on the button widget so as usual, for this, I should add a button widget to my project in the app. This time we will use virtual pin V3. So to work with the buttons on off labels, let's add these lines of the code. Here the, we are setting the on label as hello and the off label as bye. As you see, I've used V3 virtual pin that was assigned to our button. Let's upload and refresh our sketch again. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, I see. I make sure that quotes after the copying and pasting are still the proper ones. There we go. So I'm back to the screencast of my phone's display. So as you see, the buttons on off labels were changed to buy and hello. This is it. You will find in the description box all the links to the sources that were mentioned in this video. Thank you guys for watching it and have a nice time playing with the Blink. And one more, don't forget to click on big red subscribe button somewhere here. See ya, bye bye.